Texas. I. I. Bob and Alan Kett. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Or affirm. Or affirm. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Execute the duties. Execute the duties. Of the office. Of the office. Of the city. Of the city. Of mayor. Of Missouri City Mayor. Missouri City Mayor. The state of Texas. The state of Texas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve. Preserve. Protect. Protect. Defend the Constitution. Defend the Constitution. And laws. And laws. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. So help me God. So help me God. Good evening. It is my honor to stand before you today as elected mayor of Missouri City, Texas. I migrated into to the U.S. from India as a child, grew up in Chicago, lived in New York as a young adult, and ultimately moved here to Missouri City, Texas. Fifteen years ago, with a dream, to lay roots down for my family. My wife, Tina, and I chose Missouri City because we knew this was a great place to live. We are, within a few short years of living here, I felt a greater calling to be a service to this community that had welcomed us with open arms. I had the opportunity to serve on the city's parks board and was given the honor to serve six years as a council member of District C. And today, I humbly thank you for giving me this opportunity to serve as your mayor. There are so many individuals without whose support I would not be standing here today. First and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to thank God for this grace among myself and our family to have this opportunity to serve. Now I want to thank my wife, Tina, for your unconditional support, always been there for me, and for your love. And I know this is a lot on you. I have done, I asked you for this six years when I served on District C, and now, as a mayor, I'm asking you for another two more years. And I am hopeful that I can get that from you. Thank you. My girls, Leah and Caitlin, I'm so proud of you guys. With your help that you've done for this campaign, even the littlest things. I understand that this is taking my time away from you 
to be spending with you. But I will make sure that I will attend as many programs of yours as possible. And thank you. For my parents who are not here, as they are across the globe in India, watching this live stream, thank you for all you have done. You both came into this country with nothing and sacrificed everything for me and my brother to have that American dream. A dream where you didn't enjoy things that was in front of you, but you did work two jobs to get us to have that dream that we are having now. For that, I am grateful. I am thankful for that opportunity of what you have done. My brother, Resin, your lovely wife, Suenya, and my little nephews and niece, and our extended Ellicott family in the US that's throughout this country. Thank you so much. Thank you for everything that you have done for me. And my in-laws, Papa and Mommy as I call them, thank you for everything that you have done for me. And my one and only brother-in-law, Tindu Thangichen, and his lovely wife, Annie, Dungachin and both of their boys, thank you from the bottom of my heart for doing everything that you have done for this campaign, not just the campaign, for this movement for me to be here. This is a proud moment and a history making for my Kananaya community, um, the Malayali community at large, and my Indian and Asian community. Thank you all so much for everything that you have done, all your well wishes, all your prayers in making this moment truly a history for our community. My close friends who are here, that is just like my family, I thank you. There's been almost 20 years going backwards of our lifetime that we spent together and it was very important to me that you're here today, that in, in enjoying this with me, and this was the most important thing for me that you're here. I certainly would not be up here if not for our campaign team, our volunteers, that took their time, personal time, to block walk, to make calls, and campaign for my election. This campaign was truly about the people in this city. The ordinary citizens who volunteered for this campaign put their faith and trust in me and helped communicate my vision for the city. I want to thank you. I will forever be grateful. And you know who you are. Thank you. And for those that were able to contribute to the campaign efforts, people from all over US and the world, whether it was $20 or even higher, I wanted to be grateful for your generosity and having your faith in me. And most importantly, I thank our citizens of Missouri City, Texas for, for your engaging in your civic duty and your sacred right to vote, and selecting and electing officials such as myself to represent you, your interest, and the continued growth in our city. I extend thanks to Mayor Yolanda Ford and Council Member Preston for their years of services to our city. Their contribution, along with those that served in the past, to put Missouri City where it is today. I thank everyone that, that served, served currently and in the past for your leadership. As you know, the mayor's office works in hand in hand with our elected, of elected officials as well as city council members. I wanted to congratulate
Council, Council Member at Large, Position 1, Wachandra Edwards, on her re-election, just along with us. And, as well as Council Member Elect Lynn Clauser for her campaign and for her win on this election. I look forward to working with all of them. I do want to recognize Council Members District A, Cheryl, Dr. Cheryl Sterling, Council Member District B, Jeffrey Boney, Council Member District C, Anthony Marulis, and Council Member District D, Floyd Emery, for what you have done. And I look forward to working with each and every one of you to make Missouri City one of the best cities in the country. It goes without saying that 2020, 2020 has been a year of extremes, not only for our city, but for our world. The pandemic has pushed us to the brink. We have lost loved ones. Our healthcare system have been strained. And in few short months, our local, national, and global economies have suffered long-term damage for which we still don't know the full impact. But we also witnessed incredible leadership and support from our community, mostly in the great state of Texas and our beloved Missouri City. We saw our communities come together to help our neighbors in their time of greatest need, regardless of race, gender, ethnicity, or political affiliations. It is the sense of community among our diverse population that have always been our strength and one which I fully embrace. Now more than ever, we need, to, we need unity among our city. I have a vision for the next two years that can carry on to the next five years, 10 years, and down the road, all centered around making and keeping Missouri City one of the most desirable places to live in Texas and in our nation. In order, for, in order for that to be our reality, we need to continue to prioritize the repair of our aging infrastructure in every single district, ensuring public safety is a top priority and easily accessible to all our residents and continue to support economic development growth and prosperity to our entire city. The heart of our community has always been our local businesses. And for those of you that are struggling to keep your small business open, I am here to tell you that help is on the way. I understand the deep responsibility that comes with sustaining the incredible growth we have witnessed in Missouri City over the last decade and want to ensure that we can continue to prosper despite our challenges that, that this pandemic has caused. I am committed to being a leader that will listen to the voice of the people, whether it will be through frequent town halls, state of the city events, and, and new opportunities for community outreach such as a citizen committee. We can decide together on how to move forward with the plans for 2234. Support long-lasting businesses growth around Texas Parkway and other, other future endeavors that will have major and long-lasting impact in our city. And as your mayor, I am dedicated to uniting our city and we address the challenges that are, that, that are ahead of us. I will restore the faith that you have trusted in your elected officials and to ensure that I believe implementing term limits for the mayor's office as well as city council positions. It is our duty as your elected officials to build and support a responsible a responsive government that is only possible by, by maintaining visibility, transparency, and access for all citizens. For the staff who works 
hard every day at the City Hall. I want to assure you that your opinions, your suggestions do matter. I will do everything in my power to make sure to be a good listener and together we can make Missouri City a better place. My wife and I chose Missouri City 15 years ago and we have only continued to experience the blessing of living here. As your mayor, I am honored to accept the responsibility in continuing to push Missouri City forward. God bless you. God bless Missouri City. God bless Texas and our nation. Thank you.